The new Fire TV 4K stack, which we talked about in our previous video, is fantastic for high performance and support for HDR, as well as useful Alexa controls. So far, so good. Puns. My only nitpick, though, is that they took out the native screen mirroring option altogether. What is this, The Last Jedi? You don't kill something that people love and get away with it? Well, like JJ, I've got a fix for you. There's a third party app that can let you cast your smartphone or your laptop onto your Fire TV stick. With all the technologies like DLNA, Miracast and Google Cast. There better not be any Panto Byte scene in this new JJ movie. Let's see how it's done, shall we? To get started, you need to install a third party application called AirScreen on your Fire TV 4K stick. To do that, first install Easy Fire Tools on your phone and then download the APK file for Aptoy TV Store it's an alternative to Google Play Store, which is not present on Amazon devices due to clashes between Google and Amazon. That Jeff Bezos, I tell ya. Once you're inside up to a TV store, just do a quick search for Airscreen. Install it on your Fire TV stick and you'll see the app icon inside the All Apps tab on your front page of your Fire TV stick. Once you open the app, just hit Start to get started. Inside Settings, You'll find all the casting and mirroring technologies available inside Airscreen, like Miracast, Google Cast, DLNA, and Airplay. So let's see how you can start using these services first. Airscreen allows you to use Airplay technology to mirror or cast content onto your Fire TV stick. Once you start the service, you can see Airplay inside your Mac based devices or iPhones. On your Mac, just navigate to the status bar and click on Airplay icon. A menu will pop up in which you'll be able to see all the available Airplay enabled devices. Click on a screen which will be mentioned as AS, AFMM or something similar. Once you connect it, you'll be able to see the content on your Fire TV stick. You can do the same for your iPhone as well. To so swipe from the bottom and then open control center, tap on Airplay icon, choose the screen from there and then there you go. Fully functioning Airplay on your Fire TV stick. Miracast allows you to natively cast many Android devices directly via Miracast. On your Miracast enabled Android device, just go to settings and then find cast options. It's hard to tell the exact location, but I'm sure you'll find it if you do some digging. Once you find the Miracast option, just tap on it and then you'll see Airscreen device there. Tap on it and Airscreen will be connected to your phone within no time. We tested this one with OnePlus 60 and Pixel 3 and it works flawlessly. On your Windows device though, press Win plus P on your keyboard and select connect to a wireless display. You'll see the same device here, click on it to mirror your computer to the TV. While you can always watch YouTube via Firefox browser on your Fire TV stick 4K, the deal breaker here though is that there's lack of direct casting via YouTube like you do in Chromecast. Well, with Google Cast, you can enable it on your Fire TV 4K as well. Just start the Airscreen service and make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi as your Fire TV. Open YouTube on your phone and tap on the casting icon on the top right. You will be able to cast YouTube on Fire TV as well. And that's not all. You can even screen mirror your Android device to Fire TV. Just open the Google Home app and tap on the bottom right icon, then type on screen mirroring and then find air screen device there. Once you see it, tap on the device name and your screen will be mirrored within no time. We've also done a comparison of Fire TV versus Fire TV 4K, which is the new one, and also the best apps available for the new one. And for the next video, we'd like you to choose the top pick and let us know in the comment section below. That way we can make many more wonderful videos like these.
Also, check out smartdsproxy.com for a 14-day free trial to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Video, there's plenty of those for just $5 a month, which is bugger all if you ask me. And pummel that like button if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.